obviously pleased to have Benny back. What were the conversations that you had with him leading to this decision? Um, it was a very easy um, decision to make um, as soon as he became available. Um, you know, I informed the club that, you know, it was a player that, you know, did so well for the club previously and it was the type of player that we, we needed to get back straight away and, um, you know, I think the conversation went um, fairly quickly after that. Can you have a more uh, prototype signing than somebody who was playing for you only six months earlier, knows the system, knows exactly what you want and it's also proven at the level? Yeah, most definitely. You know, we know his quality. He, we know the goals that he scores for us. And plus the assists, and you know, not just that, what what he brings to, in the leadership in the change room as well. So, um, as I said, it was a, a fairly easy decision for us, um, and we're you know very grateful that you know Ben decided to come back to Adelaide because I'm sure you know he was chased quite aggressively, I think, by a couple of other A-League clubs. So we're we're very fortunate that he, you know, has decided to come back to Adelaide. Is it a nice change of pace for you? I feel like you know this time in years gone by, we were maybe talking about some of. Better United players leaving the squad. You've been able to retain Craig and, and now bring Ben back. Is that exciting to be able to strengthen rather than have to build from underneath? Yeah. Look, when you, you look at our squad, we've only um, signed three, you know, players from uh, from last year's team, and so that's all we, all we've done. Now we're done for the whole season, and you know, I don't think there's too many A League sides over the the course of, of the competition that's had such a. Um, Resigning and kept such a core group of players, so we we have great belief in this in this playing group that they can go on and win things, and that's why we've retained you know ninety percent of them, and that's why we've we've brought you know likes of Ben Halloran in to to come and you know hopefully get us all the way that we sort of missed out on last year. What is it that you think you're building here that made it such an easy decision? To come back? Yeah, I think there's no secrets when we you know over the last you know two years we we've, we've spoke about the culture that we've got. In, in the change room and where we're striving to go with this, um, with the playing group that we've got in, in bringing through the young players and it's important that you, you have some good senior pros there that, to show the ropes to the younger players that we're bringing through and you know Ben matches that um, what we're looking for. As someone who's still quite new as a senior coach only a couple of seasons in, does it give you validation that you're on the right path? Does it give you confidence to say I must be doing something right if all these players want to stay and come back? Yeah, look, I, I suppose, you know, myself as a coach, I, you know, w make sure that the in, the environment in the training ground is an enjoyable environment. And I, I'm sure you, you see that and with the way that the players play um, and you just have to see how they are together, that it's an enjoyable environment. And that's something that I'm very cautious of, um, that we have that enjoyment there. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure that's why some of the... Some of the players have re-signed on, and that's I'm, I'm sure part of the why Benny came back as well. Carl, just with the, the ownership stuff, we, we hear that they're doing their due diligence, they're crossing the, the T's and dotting the I's. It's not officially across the line yet. The fact that you were able to retain Craig, uh, get Benny back, and some other players, have, have you got any assurances that maybe you've got a bigger budget or anything? Of, have you got more money at your disposal? <laughs> no, no, we're operating off the budget that we pretty much operated off last season. Um, so. You know, I have had no discussions on, you know, increased budget or anything like that. We're just going the way that we are. And, you know, I'm very happy of where we are um, financially with the, with the playing group. And, you know, even if there was more money to come in, I'm not sure, you know, whether I would, you know, bring in another player at the moment. I'm very happy with the squad that we've got going forward. When can we see Benny suit up? Um, yeah, maybe, the you know, the FA Cup game, he might be... Um, play sometime in that, we, you know, we'll just wait and see. He had his first training session today and looked like he, you know, never left the place the way he trained this morning. So, um, you know, we'll take our time. You know, he's, as I say, he's going to be a very important player for us. So um, we won't rush him. Um, but if he's available, if he shows his fitness is, is at a level that he can play in the, in the FA Cup, he'll play. You mentioned the rivalry. What do you think of Adelaide City in the uh, World Cup? Yeah, look, you know, um, I'm a life, play life member at Adelaide City, so you know the club means a lot to me. Um, and you know they've had great success over the last couple of years in the local league. Um, so it'll be a, a challenging game, but something that we, you know we're, we're looking forward to. There might even be a fair amount of expectation on the team this season, Carl, which is not really something that the group's had to deal with over the last few years. I feel like they've, they've thrived on, on the underdog tag. How do you think the group will go heading into a new season where, where most around the league will expect a fair amount? Yeah, look, I, 
you know, I think there's expectations that come from the playing group. They set their expectations on what they want to achieve. Um, and there's no different, you know, we're, I suppose we're one of the fortunate A-League sides that we haven't had to have, have a high turnover of players. So some of the, these teams will be a little bit unknown until they can sort of gel and hopefully we can hit the ground running and, and get the points on the board. How did everyone pull up after that game last week? Any injuries or everyone okay? Yeah, everyone got through the game. You know, we were, you know, it was a tough game against A-League opposition and, you know, the, the data, our data that we've taken was um, better than any of the A-League games that we did last year. So um, that's a, a positive sign as well that the, you know, the pre-season work that we've done so far is uh, going along very well. How many times do you think the Rockies watch this goal back? <laughs> um, yeah, it was, you know, I had to remind him, you know, that I, I think um, that my overhead kick in an earlier game when I was a player was a little bit better and he, he agreed with me. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's it's um, going to be a, a challenging game for us. You know, they're this one of the strongest sides in South Australia and have been for for a while. Um, but it's it's going to be a good test um, for for our playing group. You know, especially this early in the pre-season, um, and it should be a a good game for all um, soccer supporters in Adelaide to come out and see the you know the you know one of the arguably one of the the greatest clubs in Australian football over the over the course of history um, playing against you know. Uh, one of the new, newer clubs that's um, got great history as well. Can you, um, mate, can you see a day in the future, maybe, you know, I don't know, five, five, ten years, when uh, the Adelaide Derby, unless you miss Adelaide United, is a, uh, an A-League game? Um, yeah, I think we're a long way away off, off of that at this stage. I know there's been a lot of talk about a, a second division, but um, I'm not sure whether um, Adelaide could... Um, sustain two teams at the moment that were maybe a little, a few, quite a few years off of that. Uh, ben, you're good to be back, mate. Yeah, it's great to be back. Yeah, arrived on Tuesday and yeah, it feels like I never left. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of jet lag. <laughs> um, what was the main factors in coming back? Obviously, you loved your time here, but other things to consider as well, I imagine. Yeah, so um, obviously left in, in January for, for South Korea. Um, didn't exactly go to, go to plan. Um, made a decision about six or so weeks ago to cut ties there. Um, I just wasn't really getting a look in and I just wasn't enjoying it there. Um, and I think just hanging around for a, for a paycheck just wasn't sustaining enough for me. Um, so yeah, decided to, decided to leave, took a bit of a break to kind of reassess where my head was at and realized pretty quickly that, you know, I really enjoyed my time here and that if I was gonna come back to Australia, Adelaide was pretty much the only place I wanted to come to. Did you have any other offers on the table that you could have you know, chosen? Yeah, there were a couple of, um, of other offers, a couple of other clubs. Um, obviously, it's a negotiation process. There's a few things to factor in. Um, but Adelaide's tried and tested. You know, it worked before here and I enjoy living here. The team hasn't changed too much. Carl's still the coach. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of a no-brainer in the end. I remember when you first came back from Germany, you, you talked about how you missed the Australianism of, you know, and camaraderie and larrikinism of the team environment. Once you had that taken away again, did, did you notice how quickly, how, how much you missed it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think this time leaving for South Korea, I knew what was in store for me and I was aware of the, of the challenge going over there. Um, I think the unfortunate thing in Korea was that it's kind of over before it started. I think the cultural challenges were fine. I enjoyed living in Seoul and I enjoyed the um, playing at the club, but yeah, playing was the biggest thing. I just didn't really get much of a run and that's the most important thing as a footballer. Any regrets? Do you regret going? No, nah, not at all. I think at the time it was an amazing opportunity, one you couldn't say no to. Um, but as it goes in football, you don't make the decision whether you're playing or not. And you can only influence it so much. You know, it's someone else's decision at the end of the day. Did you watch much of the boys' campaign and, and run deep into finals? And what was that like, not playing a lot in, in Seoul and, and seeing your old team play really well? Yeah, a bit bittersweet. Obviously, uh, I was absolutely buzzing for the boys that they did, did so well, but at the same time, you're like, oh, it's be nice to be a part of that, you know, especially when you're not 
playing at your other club. Um, but yeah, the team did tremendously well. I think they were very unfortunate not to make the final. How, how much did Goody sign on in for decision to come back? Um, yeah, it's definitely a factor. He's a phenomenal player and he makes such a big difference for us. Um, so yeah, we were chatting a bit before I made the decision. Um, but I think uh, on the whole, we have such a, a good team at the moment. I think this probably the most balanced has been in a long time. And we've kept more or less a core group of players that have been there for a long time now. Um, so that was also a big factor. Obviously, I feel comfortable here, but in terms of winning something, I genuinely believe this team can win something this year. And that also makes a big difference. How's the body? How's the fitness? We know over there, they're, they're pretty crazy with the training regime. You obviously haven't played a lot of games. How's the fitness? Yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, the training was probably hard enough to, to sustain my, my fitness. Um, obviously, would have liked to play some more competitive games because it's a bit different, you know, match fitness to training fitness. Um, yeah, but the body's fine. We've got enough time to get me ready for the season. And, you know, I have a good relationship with Carl and all the, you know, the physio and strength and conditioning staff at Adelaide, so I kind of know what I'm getting into. What were you doing in Germany? Uh, we did a, well, my partner's German, so she hadn't seen any of her family and friends for three years because of, because of COVID. So, um, yeah, we just did a big old Germany tour, visiting family and just spending quality time over there with them. Is the overseas experience done for you now? Is there any ambitions to go back over or are you happy just to settle here in Adelaide and see how long it's going? Um, I think, yeah, I'm happy at the moment just to, I mean, I've just come back. So Adelaide is where I want to be and where I want to play. Um, if there's ever an opportunity to go abroad again, obviously entertain it. But I think at my age, coming back now, like um, I'd like to, yeah, I laid roots here before, and this is the club I want to play for right now. Is it um, set, like set and forget? Do you have property here or something that you've got to kick tenants out of, or you're back in the same place, or you got um, to move suburbs, or what's the plan? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I got a tenant in, in in April, so they signed a lease for a year. Um, that's all right. We're going to let them stay there and look for another place. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Wait, Marco, did you want to answer, uh, ask Benny a question? G'day, Benny. Um, <laughs> sorry, mate, can you hear me all right? Yeah, yeah, all good. Yeah, mate, just, uh, just from, what, from what you were saying, I mean, the, um, the experience in, like, career wise didn't go as well in terms of your growth as a person, like, you know, sort of how, sort of how, sort of, you know, like, how was it? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was very challenging. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, it was obviously very, very challenging over there. And um, I think what was important for myself and for my partner as well is that we made this decision ourselves. We weren't, it wasn't like I was pushed out of the club or anything. Um, but I think being a bit older now, we, we know what's important to us. So I think that we made, or I made the decision to, to leave the club on my own terms, I think is something that may not have been easier when I was a bit younger. So I think that, yeah, in terms of growth as a person, I'm, I'm happy I made that decision and I think it was the right one. And then nice, um, nice, uh, juicy match for you to, for you to, um, you know, come back into if you're, um, uh, fit enough to, like, play. What was that, sorry? A nice, juicy cup match for you to come back into if you're fit enough to play. Yeah, for sure. I think I heard it's maybe, is it two weeks away? The, yeah. Yeah, for, I mean, first and foremost, I just gotta gotta get fit. Um, but yeah, for sure. I mean, like an Adelaide derby, obviously, obviously, want, obviously want to play in. I think there will definitely be a bit of extra spice in that one.